Renee with Renee's Creative Casa. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I'm so blessed and honored that you guys are here. This will be my last crafting video before you guys start to see some video from our trip to Hawaii. So I'm very excited. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Easter spring home tour. So I'm going to be showing you all the decorations that I have throughout my house. Um, it's just gonna be kind of a short little tour. It's not gonna be very long. And I'll just go through some of the stuff that I made and some of the things that I picked up and where I picked those up at. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what the actual inside of my home um, looks like for this holiday season. And I'm excited to share that with you. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this is just a quick shot of some lilies that I have growing in my yard. I also have this cute little gnome sign out front. It's from Dollar Tree. There are my little helper girls, and this is the little wreath, of, um, the garland around my front door that I did um, make a video of. So I have that. Um, that was my last video that I did, so you guys can check that out if you want to. And then on my front door, I also have this little... Um, Welcome bunny wreath. I actually had my neighbor, um, I don't have that there anymore. My neighbor actually asked to buy it from me. So I was like, yeah, that's that's cool. So I don't have an Easter wreath on my door right now. So, but that's okay. As soon as you walk in on this little table, my little entryway table, I have these adorable little bunnies. I picked up both of these bunnies at Marshall's. Um, I really love the little one with the macaroons. I think he's probably one of my favorites. This little hop hop basket, I did also get at Marshall's too. This was one of my first little um, spring slash Easter DIYs. I just filled it up with these flowers and popped these little bunnies right into the top of it. I think that is so adorable. Um, and then I have this little garland on my table here. These little bunnies were very plain when I took them out of the package, but I just um, kind of glammed them up a little bit by putting the little tails and ribbons on them, so super cute. Then on my mirror, I have this little pom-pom garland. This is actually a garland from Valentine's Day that I got at Dollar Tree, but it fit my decor, so I just kept it. This is the little rosette spring wreath that I made that turned out really adorable. I just have that hanging there on the wall. This is my little spring Easter garland that I have on the back of my glass shelf, along with these beautiful bouquets of flowers that are in these vases. These vases are actually made out of um, a tall vase from Dollar Tree and then uh, upside down margarita glass. And then these are just some of my um, Easter neutral decorations. I also have this little book on my end table with the carrots. Those are um, Bath and Body Works candles. This one right here, the Allen Margarita is so, it smells so good. It just really smells really good. And then I have these two little bunnies here on the bicycle that I got at Marshall's. And then I have this little um, centerpiece on my table. This is the little table that I have under my TV. So I've just added some stuff to the top of it. And then on the bottom of it, I do keep um, pictures of my kiddos, um, their graduation photos. So I did just put one or two little things down there just to um, add some color down there to the bottom of it. And I also have one of those little pom-pom garlands strung across the top of it. These, um, on my other little end table, I have um, this little bunny garden as well as the little fluffy bunny that I made out of the mop head. These are all Dollar Tree items, so nothing on this table is not a Dollar Tree item. I have this adorable little family pillow with the three little bunnies on it in my armchair. And this is my Easter candy bar that I have. It's actually set up on top of my bar cart where we keep our adult beverages. And I just have it set up there for the kids to, well, I think the adults grab candy out of there all the time too. So it's not just for the kiddos. It is super cute. And um, everybody that walks by there grabs something. So I've already had to fill some of that stuff up once or twice. And then also on the wine rack above it where I have my wine, and my wine glass is hanging. I just put little bows on those to um, just bring those into the decor as well. So this little bar cart and the little Easter candy bar turned out super cute. And I just love having it there for my family to have something to snack on. This is the towels that I have hanging on my oven. I do change these out. These just so happen to be the ones that are hanging there now. 
I got the little hoppy Easter one at Marshall's and the other one came from Dollar Tree. I did get all of these mugs from Hobby Lobby. So these are all Hobby Lobby um, mugs and you can see one says Easter and one says spring and then I have the one with the little bunny on the back. And then this is the wreath that is on my back door. I think she is super cute. It, she's very lightweight, so I do have to keep an eye on her, but she's super adorable. Hey y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well as my home tour. I am going to be completely done with decorating for right now. And like I said, next couple of videos are going to be some videos of our vacation to Hawaii. So you guys will get to see some of that as it's happening. Um, and I'm excited to share that with you guys. If you are new here, I hope you will consider liking this video as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel and hitting that notification bell right down below, right under the title so that you guys can get a notification every single time I upload a video. You guys do not want to miss any of my upcoming videos. Um, and I normally upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Um, after we do some vlogs of our vacation, I will be moving into some home improvements and doing some upgrades to the inside of my house as well as working around some on the outside. So I'm excited to share that journey with you guys and I hope you are, you will be along for that trip with me. I'm so excited you guys are here. You guys can also find me over on Facebook. I have a Facebook group. It's Renee's Creative Casa. It's a public group. So if you want to go over there, you can request to join that group and someone will get you in as soon as possible. That is just a small community of people who love crafting and cooking and decorating and exploring and they also love people. So it's a really nice group to be a part of. Um, and like I say, you guys can go over there. I'm also on um, Instagram and TikTok. Those usernames are underscore Renee, underscore Rodriguez, underscore. You guys can find me over there where I will upload when my new, um, I will let everybody know when my new YouTube videos are up. And then also on my TikTok, just some shorter decorating videos. So you guys are more than welcome to follow me on those platforms as well. I'm happy to have each and every one of you guys here. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys soon.